Everybody waiting to see if Terry Waters can add to his impressive goal tally. He's got six so far. Taz Johnson. Has a man. To the halfback line for Melbourne. Kevin Rose comes down with bag. A bustle between these two. Picked up by Rowett. Rose kicked towards Keneally, 22. The other 22 is, is uh, Ralph Rose. Cleared by Melbourne along the wing. It's directly across the centre wing at this moment. 47 is McLean, Kevin McLean. And with the ball is Tyson. McLean most impressive at centre halfback for Collingwood. Tyson evidently far below his standard of play last week for Melbourne today. Wiedemann in the picture. Four Lord, 28 fellows, 36 knocks, 22 is Keneally. Keneally ruck roving for Melbourne, kicks the ball to centre half forward. Ron Reeves, one of Collingwood's best and they've had many good players in this field today, takes the mark. Five goals still the difference. 23 minutes gone and Fellows marks the kick. Fellows between centre-half back and the centre of the ground will kick this over centre-half forward. He's got the wind behind him and it goes right over centre-half forward. Waters comes out. And Terry Waters is proving a sensation for this club. Mixed up in a tremendous football controversy only a few weeks ago because Dan DeLong refused to clear him. He played a sensational first-up game. He's got six goals so far. This could be a seventh from 50 yards out and straight through. Magnificent goal to Terry Waters. It's Waters Day at Collingwood. Seven goals, nine Melbourne. And we are uh, 23 minutes into the last quarter. They are trailing Collingwood by six clear goals. Waters has just kicked his seven. Great footballer and doing magnificent for Collingwood in this position because this allows the skipper Wiedemann to go into the ruck and here's a tremendous advantage to Collingwood in this position. There's Gabbo, gets the ball knocked down towards Emsel. Emsel kicks it back towards Henderson. Henderson underruns the ball. There's a chance for McLean, another good player for Collingwood. Kicked off the ground by Hasselman out towards the half forward flank where Zinko leads in the race for the ball. He gets it being chased by Irwin, gets a left foot to it. But as many Melbourne players have done it today, they don't know where to put the ball. And it's over the boundary line and out of bounds. Their kicking has been atrocious. I haven't seen a Melbourne player do a good drop kick all day. Waiting for the ball to be thrown in on the half forward flank for Melbourne. Collingwood players have been finding each other with good stab passes, but Melbourne are not even attempting. And there's uh, Len Mann knocking the ball down towards Dawson, but over the boundary line with uh, Dawson and uh, Irwin in the picture. Now we see the boundary umpire waiting to throw it in. Going for the ball is Len Mann. Len Mann knocks it back beautifully to Barassi. Barassi's caught with it, runs around, gets a left foot and it's a bad one. Down towards Ronnie Reeves and the ball is over the boundary line again and out of bounds. Ball will be thrown in again. We see Gabbo getting set for it against Len Mann. They fly for it. Then Mann knocks it down towards Dixon but a chance for Errol Hutchison. Errol Hutchison gets it down towards Hasselman here in the centre wing position. Has a man sends it back towards the centre half forward position where in front of Tyson, as he has been all day, is McLean. And a very impressive debut for this lad from the Ivanhoe Amateurs. Kicks it well towards the centre half forward position. Roper's in front of Johnson as he has been all day. Is a chance for Norman. Norman gets it, a left foot pass across to uh, Tuddenham. Doc Rowett goes up with one hand, couldn't do any good with it. The ball is kicked off the ground and there's a chance for Bone. Bone gets the ball. Collingwood are coming again. Bone has a shot, but this is going to be well wide. Gal umpire is waiting for the decision. He said it's one point to Collingwood and they go to 13-10, leading Melbourne 7-9. Well, Collingwood deserved the win this for many reasons, but one of their strong points is their half-forward line where Urquhart and Tuddenham have been stars for Collingwood and much too good for Rowett and Groom. Kick out, falls short behind to one of the Rose boys. Ralph Rose has it. Keneally has it now. Ralph Rose evidently was grabbed high and the umpire's giving him a free kick. Now, from here, he could score a goal. The wind is certainly worth 10 yards, and it's coming right behind him. Kicking to the stand goal. The flags are blowing out bravely uh, with a stiff wind. Oh, Waters waiting right back for it. But it's not going to Waters, it's going right through. What a beautiful goal again. Oh, Collingwood back into league play with a vengeance. That was Ralph Rose's first goal for Collingwood. He came on as 20th man when Brian Gray went off just after half-time. Waters has kicked seven goals of Collingwood's 14. The ball is back in the centre. We have been playing for nearly 26 minutes, so we're in the time-on period. Bounce. 
Late man Valiant in the ruck for Melbourne, but uh, outclassed and outnumbered. But there's no trouble on this field today for Collingwood. Here they come, they bounce the ball again. There's a chance for John Lloyd to get Melbourne up towards the forward line. Going in for it and holding him is Ralph Rose. John Lord is there again, battling on. He can't do any good with it, though. And umpire Andrew will call for it. And a siren with Collingwood victors by eight clear goals. 15-10 to 7-10.